Justice D.Y. Chandrachur has today completed one year at the helm of the judiciary as the Chief Justice of India. We take a look at seven key developments that mark the first year of his term. The biggest corporate case of 2023 has been the Adani Hindenburg case. In March, the CJI formed an expert committee and directed SEBI to complete investigations. SEBI informed the Supreme Court that the probe is complete in 22 out of 24 cases, but was still waiting for information from regulators overseas. Expert committee, meanwhile, concluded that there were uh, no regulatory failures and that neither was there any evidence against Adani. Petitioners recently flagged repeated adjournments in this case. Number two, in a crucial dispute, a bench headed by the CGI held against the centre and in favour of the Delhi government on the issue of control over officers. The Supreme Court held that division of powers must be respected. However, within days of the judgment, the government came out first with the ordinance and then with the GNCTD Amendment Act, giving the LG the sole powers over officers. Speaking at a public event recently, the CGI had remarked that legislature cannot overrule the Supreme Court. Number three, the CGI took on the mantle of deciding the fate of abrogation of Article 370. After 16 long days of hearing, the judgment was reserved by a five-judge bench. It had been referred to a five-judges bench four years ago. That's way back in 2019. The judgment will be pronounced before the year end. Number four, the Sena versus Sena battle in Maharashtra was also decided by the CGI-led bench. The Supreme Court held in favour of Eknath Shinde camp, but at the same time directed the Speaker to decide the appeals from the Yodhav camp on disqualification against the Shinde camp within a reasonable time. It's been six months since then. More recently, the CGI warned the disqualification proceedings can't be turned into a charade by allowing the government to continue till the next elections. Number five was the battle by the queer community for equal marriage rights. The Supreme Court has answered that question by giving a big no to legal recognition for marriage, to unions or even rights that are flowing out of a union. The CGI was in a minority. He had directed for allowing adoption rights to queer couples. The CGI had held that denial of marriage rights was violation of fundamental rights. Number six could well hold the key for the next general elections. We're talking about electoral bonds. The CGI-led bench had reserved the judgment. Uh, during the hearing, he made key observations. He noted that the bonds seemed to provide selective confidentiality where the ruling party could gain access to donor details. He also noted that bonds should not legitimize kickbacks. And number seven saw an exchange of fire between the then law minister Kiran Rijiju and the CGI. The Supreme Court Collegium under the CGI recommended the name of advocate Saurabh Kirpal uh, for elevation to the Supreme Court. Center sent the file back with a raw objection. The raw objection to the advocate being openly queer. In an unconventional move, the Supreme Court Collegium Resolution made public the raw findings. The Collegium Resolution said that he can't be rejected on the basis of him being openly gay. Soon after, Rijiju was shipped out of the law ministry and replaced with Arjun Ram Meghwal. Now, Justice Chandrachur has exactly a year to go before he demits office and the CGI is looking determined to take on complex, volatile political issues pending for many years.